Hello students, welcome to class Priyam. In today's class, we are going to discuss about spectroscopy. So, what is spectroscopy? Spectroscopy, it is a study of interactions between matter and electromagnetic radiation. Here, the matter, you can take the atoms, so molecules or any chemical or biological substance like proteins, anything, any substance, you can take it as a matter and when it interacted by the electromagnetic radiation, what are the changes occurs, okay. That study is about spectroscopy, okay. Before we are going to deep into the spectroscopy, then why we should learn about spectroscopy, okay. Let's see the significance of spectroscopy first. So, the significance of the significance of spectroscopy. So, spectroscopy is having very wide applications. So, especially in the field of astronomy. In the field of astronomy. So, especially it's about remote sensing. Remote sensing. So, astronomy not in the sense of to know about the future. It is the astrology we are not talking about, we are talking about astronomy, astronomy in the sense to study about the celestial objects, okay. So, what are their velocities and what is their composition, is water availability there, what kind of minerals available on so and so planet. So, to study about the celestial objects and the remote sensing also very crucial role because we use this remote sensing to identify the minerals in the earth crust wherever it is possible. Okay, through by using the, some satellites and also in our defense also we are using remote sensing to detect the threat to the, our country. So, in various fields these two are playing crucial role and in which we will use spectroscopy. Apart from this most of the large telescopes, large telescopes also having spectrograph, spectrographs which are again used to study the chemical composition, chemical composition and the physical properties, physical properties of astronomical objects. In the medical diagnose, in the field of medicine, medical diagnose, also we will use spectroscopy. So, like uh, the terms will come across ECG, X-ray, MRI scanning, all these works based on the spectroscopy concept only. So, this is also another important application we are having. It is an important tool in the hands of the analytical chemists to study, to study So, to study the quantitative and qualitative analysis of, of chemical substances. So, like this we can give a very big list of up, uh, significance for the spectroscopy. So, we are seeing that in the astronomy, in the fields of remote sensing and also in the medical diagnose, in the telescopes, okay, to study the various chemical substances. So, both quantitative analysis and the qualitative analysis. For example, you did a reaction with A and B and you got a product C. Now, you don't know, you got an unknown product called C. So, this product, you have to analyze what is this product, okay. That is nothing but the qualitative analysis. So, what is composed of and what are its physical quantities, what is density, what is its mass, okay. Such physical quantities, that is quantitative analysis, all these things we can analyze by using the spectroscopy of unknown chemical substances, okay. Or known chemical substance also, unknown properties we have to analyze by using the spectroscopy. This is the significance, this is the major significance of the spectroscopy, okay. Now, with this knowledge, we must study about the spectroscopy. That what got understood. Spectroscopy, nothing but it is the interaction between matter and EMR. We know what is the matter and what is this EMR? That is nothing but electromagnetic radiation. So, first let us study about electromagnetic radiation. Then we will understand better what is spectroscopy, okay. Let's, our next topic is electromagnetic radiation. 